Lamar at Ohio State game, and obviously I don't think it ended the way that you wanted it to. What was your mindset coming into this game, and how do you feel like you responded tonight? Um, yeah, definitely didn't end how we wanted it to, but um, you know this team is tough, and you know we're an older team, and I think you know we we talked about it before, how you know in previous years one loss may lead to two or three, four, or ten. But, uh, but, uh, but um, this team is different, and you know we really put in the work. Um, we know what it takes to win as in leaders, and we, we make sure we apply that to everybody and hold everybody accountable. And I think that's why we're able to bounce back and win, and able to win this game against another top five team. Well, Lamar, you sorry. Lamar, you've been a part of top. 25 wins before, top 10 wins before. Yeah. But this one, Penn State kind of played Penn State basketball for the majority of the game. Did this win feel different than those upsets that you've had in the past? Um, I think so because, you know, in previous years, it was always like a hero that would step up and the reason why we won this game. And, and tonight, it was it was everybody. Everybody really contributed in big moments. And I think that's why you know you have the making of a good team. Um, MJ stepped up, Isaiah stepped up, Mike stepped up, Jamari stepped up, like everybody who played really, you know, you know, played their role and, and did it to the best of their ability. So this one definitely felt a little different, just a, a, a total team win. Building on that, can you talk about the, you guys had, I think, 19 assists on 29 field goals, the ball movement, and, you know, you're a guy who averaged more points last year, but it looks like the team's better. How important yeah. has this been? Um, I mean, I think it's extremely important, especially with the weapons that we have, to utilize all of them. And um, ISO, I've played it for like three years almost, and we haven't gotten to where we wanted to go. And I think now the makers of this team, we're all unselfish, all just want to win. So we always just look for the best shot, and I think uh, everybody's really bought into that recipe. And do you get a sense that other teams get a little bit rattled with your team speed? Because it looked like that may have been the case in the first half with all the steals that you had. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, that's something that we take pride in in defending uh, and really keeping them uncomfortable. And with our with our speed, we just like to run. We want to go and you know really wear teams down because I don't think there's many teams that could go as deep in their bench as, as we really can and have guys that really can come in and produce at the same level as the starters. Lamar, can you just talk about the environment tonight and how the crowd kind of just gave your team a boost all throughout? Yeah, the crowd was definitely our sixth man tonight. Um, they did a great job of just, you know, keeping us energized. And when they went on runs, you know, they would get us going. And, and we need that. We need that every every time we play. And the, the BJC was electric. It was definitely one of the best environments that I played in here over my four years. Is your headspace different when you know that you have help in games like this? Does it feel different than maybe other games where you talk about heroes, you've been that guy that's had to do that. You, you know, 13 shots is maybe almost low for you in some yeah. of those circumstances. Um, you said does it feel different? Yeah, just in terms of <clears throat> maybe how aggressive you want to be or the confidence that you have in guys around you. Yeah, I mean, I just trust in everybody on this team. So, um, you know, I just, uh, with this year, I really don't feel like that I have to do, you know, more than, you know, unnecessary. I just have to do my job and, and take the shots when it's there. I trust my teammates to make the right plays as well. Um, I, I think this is a total team, like a real team, that everybody is extremely unselfish. And I don't think we're going to have many nights where God is scoring 30 because we just have so many weapons. Um, I think we're just going to have, you know, balanced nights like these. I think that's, that, that's what's going to help us get to that next level, that elite level as a team. And how do you think MJ has done sort of in his Big Ten baptism by far? Because it seems like he has grown up quickly over the last. Yeah, MJ has always been a big time player. Even when even when he first got here last year, I've always thought he was really talented. Um, he works he works really hard. So seeing you know him respond like this after a loss from Ohio State isn't surprising because he puts the work in. So you always want good things to happen for people that work hard. Lamar, Pat, um, right over here. Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Pat just spoke about the, the impact that Isaiah had, especially in the second half when Maryland was getting some um, momentum. Can you speak to um, the, the three-pointer that he hit and then the, uh, the, the steal and then the dunk that he had? Um, yeah, Isaiah, he's fearless. Um, he's, he's very aggressive and he 
he's hard to guard. So um, we want him to come in and be that that spark off the bench, and, and he was that tonight. Um, that three was a huge, huge shot, and yeah, I, I knew it was going in because just the player he is and how he practices, he makes big time shots like that. So it wasn't a surprise to me. Lamar, last year you had the 0 10 start in the league. Yeah. What's the importance of getting this kind of win? right now there's already people out there talking this is an NCAA tournament team so on so what is the importance for you guys to get this for yourself and also to get the crowd the fan base behind you early yeah. in the year like this uh, I think it's just good for our confidence as a team you know to be the talented team like Maryland that's ranked top five in the country and it was, it was able for us to see you know what level that we could play at and how talented we are as a team and I think um, for the fan base, again, it's just showing how talented we are. I think, you know, this is a really exciting team to watch. We have a lot of fun pieces. And um, I think we're going to win a lot of basketball games as long as we, you know, stick to focusing on one day at a time. Um, and, yeah, I think that, you know, should show enough to support and big time wins like this that a lot of teams aren't able to do that. So I think we have a, uh, a team that's for the history books. Lamar, you had kind of, you know, touched on how you feel like there's a lot of contributors and, you know, you don't have to do it yourself. I'm just wondering for, for you as a guy who has had to do that previously, what does this feel like, you know, kind of emotionally? Like, how, how do you feel watching this team that has all of these parts knowing you don't have to be the guy every night? Yeah, I mean, it feels great. It takes a, a, a huge burden off my shoulders, I guess, um, just knowing that I can trust everybody. And, so, uh, other guys will step up if you know if I'm not feeling it that night, and uh, it's just able. It's for me. It's able to allow me to just play freely and and just and to just play my game. And I think that that's for everybody, and everybody does that. Lamar, you guys started off the game with that alley oop to Mike, and and it really got the energy going in the crowd. How important is it for you guys to start off a game like that and really get the crowd behind you right away? Um, yeah, I mean, that's definitely a, a huge benefit. Um, the play really, I don't think it's designed to really get an alley-oop, but he was wide open. And, you know, we just play, we were just playing. So um, when the crowd gets behind us, it's just an extra energy boost. Um, the guys are really, you know, ready to go. And we definitely needed that. The crowd was amazing tonight.